Go, girl. Wait. Uh -huh. Hey, how's everybody doing? Jean Ginsburg here, and I have a very special guest, Adam. Adam, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, Adam Patali, and I founded Adam's Polishes coming up on 20 years ago here in February. Wow. Uh -huh. So we met because we were both on the fast, the Denver Business Journal Fast 50 list, uh, which is a list of the fastest growing companies in Colorado. I guess in Colorado, right? Not just Denver. Yeah. Um, so that's how we ended up meeting. So I was like, hey, let's do a podcast. Let's do a video together and learn a little bit more about what you, what you do. So tell us about the company. Well, uh, Adams Polishes, we manufacture premium car care products. We do everything you can imagine to clean, polish, wax, seal your car, your boat, your airplane, and now your house. So we get involved with other groups as well. We get involved, we do collaborations with a lot of different groups. So we do collaborations with, um, you name it, kinds of people. I guess you could see our Instagram to see uh, Adams Polishes, to see all the different people that we do collaborations with. But So we're a manufacturer of car care products. We are also a marketer. And then we, we film a lot of how-to videos. So you can figure out, how do I get that little bird poop stain off of, the, off of my finish? Or how do I get the blue jean marks out of my leather seats? Or you know, how do I get the inside of my windshield really clean? Or how do I get a swirl-free, perfect finish? That's something that we get involved with uh, doing a lot of education as well as you know, product sales and solution sales. That's fantastic. So it sounds like you are very active on social media. We are. Yeah, okay. we, uh, we, we are. We, we have a special, like, we do a limited edition special release bottle with every 50,000 new followers. So mm -hmm. we just hit 350,000 followers, uh, I think, a few, maybe a few months ago. So On, on Instagram? On Instagram, oh, yeah. And Instagram cool. being our, our main deal with Facebook, you know, we do a little bit on Facebook too. But we spend a little bit of time there yeah, doing social media marketing. We've got a marketing team of 10 people. Awesome. And they're outstanding. That's fantastic. So what about you? Tell us about your background. How did you get into... <laughs> Cleaning your stuff. Yeah, yeah, cleaning, cleaning things. So, uh, well, I started uh, in 1980. I started a, a little bicycle repair and cleaning business, mm -hmm. and uh, just so happened that my parents ended up splitting up. Mom had a new boyfriend, and he's a cyclist. He leaves his bike at our place after a hundred mile bike ride, and he came back a few days later, and I had detailed it and rewrapped his handlebars and, and made it nicer again. And, um, and he went back to his work, which was Allergan Pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. and they had a bicycle, a whole bicycle team club there, and told everyone, uh, this kid is nine years old, and he's like this <laughs> manual labor, you know, prodigy. So basically, my mom started bringing home bikes every day from, from work, and uh, Adam's Bicycle Repair and Cleaning happened. And after a while, that little business uh, was, was great, and every night I had lots of bikes to, to repair and, and do things with, and then started washing the neighbor's cars and then the next okay. washing and waxing the neighbor's cars. So by the time I was like 12 or 13, I had a good little neighborhood business going in. Okay. So Dude. you started young, right? I, I did. I started pretty young. When you yeah. were like nine years old. So this yeah. all like started yeah, at, at 40 nine? years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's a, I can't say I know anybody who's been in yeah. business really for, for 40 years. 50, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've been at it for a minute and, uh, I got into fleets, got into fleet detailing a lot in high school, started realizing in Southern California, driving is terrible. So spending a lot of time on, on the freeways, going from customer to customer's house. So I ended up doing some limousine fleets and I'd go do a free detail for every limousine fleet owner in the area. And they would, they'd say, okay, first of all, they said, you know, you're a little kid, you know, I was 16. And they said, you know, you're, you can't be for serious. So I'd go out and do a, let me do a car for free. Let's just see if I can, if I can win your business and I can earn it. So I, uh, I went and did, I did six limousines for free and five of those limousine companies became customers. So it worked out pretty good and uh, doing all the, I could send, I could send guys, I had a few employees at that point that went to the local community college. They could go and detail limousines all day while I was in high school and then I'd go, you know, supply them with stuff on my lunch hour and make sure they had enough cleaners and towels and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, so you were 16 and you already had employees who were in college at the time. I did, yeah. I so did. you were you were like an entrepreneur since since basically day one. Huh? I was. Well, <laughs> I'm really uncoordinated and terrible at sports. So it became clear that sports wasn't going to be my uh, my ah. thing. I just don't have skills. Um, really bad at soccer. Rather terrible at, at baseball. Found out. Come to find out, I'm bad at most sports. But I was good. Cycling was uh, was something I could do. I was going to say skiing. cycling and. Yeah. 
and skiing. Ski? Yeah, that's it. It's a good way to get through the winter here in Colorado, that's for absolutely, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. How long have you been in Colorado? We moved here in 07. Okay. And then I moved the business here in 09. Oh, so yeah, obviously I guess you started the business back in Orange County. Yeah. I did. So how was, yeah. how was that moved? Was there any disruption or? I mean, if, if, if I can, we already have California moving to Colorado in epic, epic fashion. So, but uh, it's very easy to leave California as a business. You, you can immediately take advantage of uh, lower workman's compensation insurance, payroll taxes are less. Uh, there's just a zillion reasons to not do business in California, especially if you're in the chemical business. Really? Then that's really great. Do you get, do you get taxed a lot? Yeah, there's just, the there's just, I mean, there was a very, initially, you know, years ago, the California Air Resource Board, CARB, they were really going after lots of little businesses. Like, they'd give us fines if we didn't have a date, a date code oh, on a bottle of polish oh, wow. or like, you know, a water-based bottle of product was on the shelf. And then, oh, the, there's no date code on it. We're like, Okay, like, well, it has to have on there or else you're going to get a you know, zillion dollar fine. I'm like, oh, thanks, that's great. So we moved to Colorado to be a little bit more center of the USA for doing internet shipping. We became more of an online business um, in sort of middle of 2000, mm -hmm. 04, 05. And then being here, we can get to either coast within two or three days versus from sure. California, it takes five to six days to get, get to, the to the East Coast. Yeah, absolutely. So that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just taxes are crazy in the state of California. Oh, they're so amazing. Whether you're a, yeah. a consumer, whether you have a business, it's just- It's crazy, yeah. California is a, a tough state to do business in. So yeah. there's obviously a reason that a lot of companies are, are moving out of California. And we still have a percentage of our business there in California that's substantial. In fact, we just opened a facility in Anaheim, California, not far from where I started the business in Costa Mesa. So we do have a facility there now. We ship to all of our Southern California, all of California. And I think that by the end of the week, this week, we're gonna start shipping to Oregon. And then by the end of next week, Washington, and then we're gonna add Nevada, add Arizona. So we're just gonna have our distribution centers make it so that everyone's getting really excited about getting their stuff tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. Amazon's sort of setting everyone yeah. up to be- Two day shipping. I want my stuff now or tomorrow. I want it right now. So. If you get it, um, if you get it tomorrow, you're good. If you don't get it tomorrow, you're, you're pissed. So for us, we're now putting these, these distribution centers with a little retail store in the front. Mm -hmm. uh, we plan to have three or four of those by the end of 2020. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So my next question is about recent wins. I mean, it sounds like you have had a lot of recent wins. The Denver Business Journal, Fast 50. You just reached 350,000 followers on Instagram. You're opening up new locations. So, any other wins that you want to share? <laughs> um, I guess we had a, we've had a couple of exciting things with uh, General Motors. You know, we're we're the licensed car care product for Corvette. And now the new Corvette wow. C8 is out. It's really exciting. So very cool. We will have one soon, and uh, hopefully, we'll be gift, gifting that to my father here in the, the next four months if that car is built in time. Oh, anyway. gifting the actual car, not just yeah. not just yeah. the polishes, huh? <laughs> he gave me a, he gave me a uh, a Corvette actually when I was in college. He had an old Corvette, and he said, "Hey, son, good news, bad news. Good news is I'm not paying for any of your student loan debt. Uh, that's the bad news. Good news is you can have the Corvette." So I said, "Oh, yeah, thanks." That's what year was it? Sixty two, nineteen sixty two. Wow, do you still have it? We ended up selling it just uh, in two thousand fourteen. So, uh, but anyway, we sold it. For a nice chunk and uh -huh. he gave me the majority of that of that so now oh, it's my turn to sort of give back so, oh, well, so that's he, fantastic. i'll have another corvette again soon wow yeah. well that's that's very It'll exciting cool. i guess another win would be uh we just we're starting our fourth year with barrett jackson's with a big uh collector car auction they do four of them around the country mm -hmm. and uh, the barrett jackson we do a private label for barrett jackson so that you can buy barrett J jackson label products and we're the on-site detailer there so we go to all these big shows so the biggest one of the year is exciting as heck. It comes up in Scottsdale. So it's auction week there in Scottsdale. And uh, it's one of the greatest times to, to be thawed out in 72 degrees and perfect in Scottsdale while everyone here in Colorado is freezing their butts off. So, well, so we're, I wouldn't say, I mean, yes, people are freezing their butts off, but you have skiing. the mountains. And we're you have, skiing. Yes, absolutely. And we love skiing. I know. But anyway, so we'll be out there doing that. And that's a, that's a And point. that's what, in the, in the winter? Yep, it's in January. January. Coming so it's right coming up. up right around the corner huh yep. i can't believe like 20 2019 is like almost over it's crazy we buy Time just like flies. that yeah so true so what about some new initiatives or projects that you're working on to drive the business so for us um really making sure that we're going to be 
best in class. So let's say you're looking for a tire shine or you're looking for a product to clean your seats. We want to make sure that we come up with a solution that's best in category. It's not just a chemical. Really, it's a process. It's a chemical plus an, a scrub brush or a towel or just a method of achieving a perfect finish, whether it be your leather seats or your glass or whatever. So um, for us, those, those are really critical for us to be first in category in each one of those. So making sure okay. that when it comes to leather care, you don't want slippery, you know, slimy, slimy leather. Stuff. You don't want yeah. shiny dashboards. You want to make sure that you got the best thing going there for that. So, so for us this year, um, we're actually looking at doing a skew reduction. In other words, oh. we are going to make our product line even smaller, more concise and tighter so that you want to, you want to know how to make your glass perfect. Well, there's three products that it takes to make your glass truly perfect instead of, you know, some of our competitors have 11 or 16 mm -hmm. products. So for this year, simplicity is absolutely key. We want to have right. a very simple way to achieve perfection on any finish on your vehicle. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Actually more being more, I guess, niching down and being more specific versus like having yeah. hundreds and thousands of skews. Yeah. So it's like the, you go into an auto parts store, right? And you look at all the different stuff you'd buy to wash and dry and wax your car. And you just look, and we call it the wall of confusion. You just look at this wall, and, and you just, just start bottles. glazing over. Yeah, like you're like, I start oh, glazing over. You're like, what? God, what do I need for my car? I don't even know. So yeah, so we want to be the other side of that, which would be, oh, you want to use a product for for making your tires shiny or just dark? Good. We have two products, either high gloss or matte finish. Not you want to spray it on, you want to brush it on, you want to you know, you want to breathe it on, you want to do whatever you're going to do. Here's the two products, and this is going to be two different results. And there's no question on which which is going to be his personal preference. You want your, you want it to look like that or like this. So simplicity is going to be a big thing for us in 2021. Great, I love it. Simple, fast, easy. Yeah. Get that, get right down to the point instead of like I don't know what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Get her done. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. So, um, so you've been a business owner for. Very long time. Very long time. Yeah. <laughs> Very long yeah. time. Pretty much so, my whole life. Um, yeah. Tell me some, about one tool that you use that you think would be that's like critical to your day, critical to your business, critical to just getting things done. What, what do you say would that be for you? Oh man. One tool. One you can pick one. I was gonna say one tool. Oh, well, one tool. It could be, be an online I'm, tool. It could be a software. It could be you know an actual tool yeah. that you use in your business. I mean, I don't know. You know what we're using right now, which has been become a really useful tool, is this uh, software called Monday.com. Yeah, it's like a project management tool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for us, we're just we have you know we have almost 150 employees now. We have like 120 full time and 30 people that go and do detailing with all these big events. We've had so many people trying to communicate progress on different projects, and it's really easy to veer off and get lost and sort of lose focus. And with the Monday.com uh, software system, it's really helped our business become a lot more focused and accomplishing tasks, and making sure that, okay, you were gonna do which part? Okay, great, you got that done? Super. And then you can highlight it, you know, is it a high priority, medium priority, mm -hmm. low priority? So if I was going to give a, a project management type thing, that's, that's, a, that's, that would be one that's that I would say. That's one that you would highly yeah. recommend. And then yeah. an outstanding CEO. Uh, another reason our business has grown tremendously is that one of my business partners, uh, a guy named Derek Johnson, he came in and uh, um, maybe a year and a half ago now, he took over as CEO and it helped our business grow exponentially because me as a CEO, I'm really, really a good car detailer. I'm really fired up for like making sure that your screen right here on your laptop is perfectly clean. Like I, I know exactly what to do on that. I'm, I'm really passionate about cleaning stuff and making everything perfect. But chief executive officer. Not, not, not exactly. Much. Not, I'm not awesome at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not great at that. So having an outstanding CEO and I think having, I like to think that I'm extremely humble and I can tell you that I'm not good at lots of stuff, but when I found that I would hit my sort of limit and maybe we hit that limit at around the hundred, 100 employee mark, I became, you know, I don't know everyone's name. I don't know everyone's story. I don't have that personal interaction, which I can, a lot of employees will just work for me just because they feel great about working for me and we're a team. But then once people don't even know me and they work for us, it was, a, it was harder for us to scale that business. And when Derek became CEO of the business, it was, you know, a little bit humbling for me to say, okay, I'm going to step down as CEO and I'm just going to be the chief detailer and then, you know, the, the, the product 
you know, evangelist. Big vision. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think it helped. It helped the business a tremendous amount. So having that, uh, having that uh, person at the right, having the right people in the right seats. Yes. The bus. Well, yeah. that's, that's how it always is, right? You have to have yeah. the right people in the right seats. So what do you do now then? I mean, what do you say you do here now that you're no longer the CEO? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm the chief detailer uh, now, so I'm, I'm really, I like to make sure that everything that we do is excellent. Every product that we offer is excellent. Every solution that we provide comes with a very thorough video explanation, how to achieve perfection on my nav screen. How do I get it? I use this towel, I use this chemical, I use this process. Um, that's critical. And then making sure that our product line is absolutely just on point and making sure that if there's a competitor that comes close to one of our SKUs and they it's like, well, they're beating us. Well, we need to get back to the drawing board quickly and make sure that we are aggressively one-upping or improving any of our products or our processes to, to make sure that we're we remain first in class. So I now make sure that our relationships with people like General Motors, make, our, make sure our relationships with people like uh, Barrett Jackson, and, and we have other large relationships. I like to manage those relationships and then for me, I spend time with products. I spend a lot of time with products. And then, of course, shooting videos, I have to do a lot of that. So we, we uh, video content's a big part of our business, how-tos. Um, and then I also have to make sure that I get out to the events. So we have a lot of events. Like last weekend, we had an event at our headquarters in California. Mm -hmm. This weekend, we have one at our headquarters in Colorado. Is it just for like vendors? And um, we have open houses, and we have, like, um, we have cars and coffee. So the cars and coffees are slowly they're sort of taking over for what you know used to be car shows you know sure. mom and pop pull out a couple of chairs sit them behind their their old 50 55 chevy and sit there all day and watch their car um there's less people that are getting excited about that kind of car show now the cars and coffees so we run a cars and coffee here in colorado and lafayette mm -hmm. on the first saturday of every month at the flat irons oh, church it's a huge cool. so we have we average about 1500 cars which would be, I all, think, like, like antique cars or all kinds of You cars. name it. Every kind of car you can imagine. So we have a pretty significant turnout there at the church on the first Saturday of every month. And it, it starts at 7, and it's over with by 10. So it's a nice little quick way. And enthusiasts come there. We don't charge money. Uh, we set up a tent, do some demonstrations, and, and uh, we hand out some products. And, but really what that is is an opportunity just to, to really touch and, uh, and sort of get into the local car enthusiast um, you know, of whether it's super old cars, brand new cars, you have everything. You know, we have Lamborghini comes and displays there. We have um, Flatirons, Audi, they come out there and display. We have all these people that our dealerships that come out and they will bring some cars out there too. And then we have a bunch of old like car club guys. They'll come out there too. So we also yeah, sponsor one of those at our headquarters in California. That's the last Sunday every month. And then we also um, are the title sponsor of one in West Palm Beach, Florida. So these are, these, these cars and coffees have, have really, become a neat way yeah. to get involved with people that may not have found us online. So it's, uh, so it's, it's cool. another way. Yeah. Yeah. And people come out and say, Hey, I'm really having a problem. Somebody dropped their purse on my roof and dragged it off and put some big scratches in my car. Can you help me? And it's like, where's the car right over there? Pull it right here. Let's do it. So we will, we'll pull a polisher out and help people I'll tell you what you make, you make customers for life when you like, Fix their, you fix their fix scratches. Their stuff right away. Oh huh? my gosh. They're like, thank you so much. I love you. It's like, I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Buy our stuff. So that's great. So it sounds like you're kind of the face of the company now, and then the chief content strategist and the um, chief uh, face chief strategist. detailer. Yeah, the chief detailer. Okay. We, yeah, and we have marketing. I, so I have a marketing team. It's led by a guy named Matt Butcher, and his his team's just incredible. They, they they create some content. We sell these mystery boxes and all these crazy apparel and stuff that I never in a million years would have thought would become successful. Yet it's become a really big piece of our business, you know, branded apparel. So our marketing team is, is led uh, and, and is fully operated by Matt and his, his group of 10 people really get a chance to, uh, to surprise us regularly. You know, do we just got through Black Friday and Cyber Monday and, um, you know, we, again, we were, we were, you know, significantly up over last year and a lot of it was just, they just, they just pull some random crazy stuff out. It's like, how do you think like that? You know, it's like, where do you get it? You probably understand better than I do because you're, you're, you're younger and you're a marketing person. So, uh, so older grownups that are not marketing people well, always know. shake your head and go, how do you do that? That's amazing. It's ideas, I guess. I guess and so. And then using the technology that's available to yeah. you. Using God's gifts. Yeah. Using God, what God gave you. Yeah. And then I guess the last question would be, so what is your prediction for the industry? It could be anything. It could be related to your industry. It could be related yeah. to AI. It could be related to, 
you know, talking and walking robots? What do, what yeah. do you think is happening in the next five, 10 years? Well, people are definitely still cleaning their cars. And okay. e even if they're not owning the car, you know, people like to ride in a not disgusting car. Okay. You know, and if you don't have to drive your car, you still have to ride in it. So if That's your car true. is driving itself, I think you still get a chance to, uh, to go ahead and clean it. Um, I think one of the things is that we're finding is um, we are able to help people that didn't previously clean their cars clean their cars. And that's with video education and helping people. The thing is women are probably the biggest segment of the population. The that, new markets? Yeah, huge. You know, we're really into uh, no boobs, no butt, no sleaziness at all in any of our marketing. You we don't just, take your shirt off when you're doing your videos. We don't I'm have girls. Yeah, my boobs once in a while. Once in a once while. Once in a while I'll take my yeah. shirt off. And yeah. <laughs> Shave them. No, that's gross. And I do, and I um, do a video about yeah. how to polish up. Yeah. No, but women are, I mean, we, we have earned the business as a percentage, much more so than most of our competitors, because we just don't, we just have a very, hey, here's how to do it type attitude versus a, hey, look at this girl in a bikini getting foamed down with a, yeah. with a foam gun type thing. It's like, no, that's, that's not the way to go. So yeah, the industry more, is. More family style. Yeah, more family style. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we started uh, our forum, which is like Adam's forums, which is like, you know, before, before the Instagram, forum, yeah. you know, there were all these yeah, enthusiast the forums, forums, right? Yeah, yeah, you remember, yeah, it's funny, they're all, yeah. they're all not as, not as no, popular. No, uh, yeah, the people probably watching this video probably What's a it. forum? Yeah, they're probably yeah. like, what's, what is that? But what I remember, we, I just had a new baby, so our, our oldest is now 11. So I had a new a baby girl, and I remember, you know, having, always looking at, all the different companies marketing and how they how they show up and how they how do they try to get new customers and a lot of it is you know bikinis and all kinds of crazy stuff and i remember having my daughter on my lap and i'm looking at you know all of our you know, always you know looking at all of our competitors and thinking i want to make sure that my daughter can always sit on my lap and look at what i'm doing on that computer and not be like embarrassed or oh wait don't don't look at that you know i don't want to feel dirty like that so that helped us keep sort of a trajectory of being really, um, I think, you know, if you're a do-it-yourself person, period, we're going to be your choice. But if you're a female, you'll feel less dirty about using our products because I think that we just have a very no-nonsense approach to things and we never belittle uh, women. You know, it's just not our, not, not in our, not in our deal. So anyway, the future, I'm going to say women, I think that women are a big piece of the, of the future as far as car care because more and more successful people regardless of being a guy or girl you like to do stuff yourself you know you see the diy channels on you know hgtv and all these people well doing your car is therapy for us our entire business is helping people be successful in their car care and a lot of people they get therapy out of it. some people like to garden some people like to fish some, some people, people like, to, like to polish cars and some people like me like to clean and polish cars and uh, and i'm not alone apparently because we got a i don't know some hundreds of thousands of customers and now we've been blessed and, they, and they're That's they're fantastic. they're getting their therapy there too so. so so the future is women polishing cars is that is that what you, how you a would... bigger percentage for sure we're yeah. definitely finding that yeah and you're going to clean your stuff you're not you're not going to want to get into a self-driving car that's filthy you're not going to want to get into an uber car that's filthy so that's regardless true. i don't i don't see uh car care being any, any less popular as a result of self-driving or people that uh car share type things maybe there's going to be robots who are going to be using your products to clean the cars it could happen. Could happen. Well, car washes, but if you go to the car wash, and especially if you like your car, you go to the car wash, you pull your car through on the other side, you pull it out and you might jump in it. You might jump out of it and go wipe some of the water out, but you might not, but you definitely, next time you pull under the lights, you're going to say, what are all these scratches on my car? You know, the mass systems of washing cars are pretty dangerous to your finish. I mean, they scratch your car. So if you don't care about your car, then by all means, car wash all day long. If you do care about your car, you gotta polish it. Yourself. Well, or go to the pay and spray where you're gonna put swipe your card and use the pressure washer wand wow. and, and be able to blast all the crud off yourself. And that's what you recommend. Well, yeah. Anytime that you have a mass means of washing cars, all the dirt from the last car is very likely on those things. You, you ever sat in your car through one of those things? Yeah, very long time ago. Yeah. Well, you're missing out. It's a, it's a lot of damage happening to cars. And well, like I said, a long time ago, I haven't done it recently. So it's been a while. Well, since good I've done for you. It. Yes. You have less scratches as a result. I probably, well, definitely my new car that I've had for the last year, I have not gone through one of those automated ones. See, you're, you're, you're born to be one of our customers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Great. Well, before we wrap up, anything you wanted to add before we, uh, we, uh, 
complete this interview? Well, first, thanks. It's, oh, uh, yes. It's, it's awesome. It's and, great. and congratulations to you for being uh, Fast 50 also. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a great honor and very yeah. exciting and great for our company. And I'm sure it's the same for you, too. Well, it yeah. is exciting. But um, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool to be uh, rubbing elbows with those yeah. who are, who <laughs> there are out there crushing for, it in our town here. For, for, the, for the other peeps who are also part of Fast 50. So, yeah, yeah. thank you so much for being on the um, on the podcast or in the video as well yeah. and yeah congratulations on everything that you guys have accomplished i mean you guys have been doing this for a long time and it shows right you know yeah. just chipping away every day at it right still at it that's right awesome well thanks so much adam adam paul is it adam's polishes or adam polishes adam's polishes.com okay yep. adam's polishes.com you got it awesome thank awesome you so much yep thank you we are done and yeah cool and we are done with